Away with you! I'm gonna rip the eyes out of your head and piss at your dead skull! You fucked with the wrong marine! <laughs> I love murder! The demons told me to! Dip, dip, potato chip. Welcome back. Let's get into more two handed sword stereotypes. In this episode, I plan to cover two of the most brutal swords in all of Mordow. Nope. I'm of course referring to the Great Sword and the Board Sword. The Bully's Butter Blade. Of course, I mean the Executioner Sword. These swords hit hard and cleave their way across the battlefield. So let's get into it. Secret of Steel has always carried with it a mystery. You must learn its little corner. You must learn its discipline. For no one, no one in this world can you trust. Not men, not women, not beasts. This you can trust. Barbarian! 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 The Great Sword. I mean, the name pretty much says it all, right? This is a weapon designed by somebody who's trying to compensate for something. The longsword just isn't big enough for this guy. He's all swang and no brain. Oh, swang, no, no brain. Kinda like the Executioner Sword. I'd call them a barbarian, but that might feed too much into his uber macho ego. Fact is, great swords attract edgelords. And that means one thing. Crusaders. Deus Vort! The kind of guy who plays this game listening to Power Wolf and Sabaton. Those over-the-top metalheads who like to don their chainmail armor and swing around a foam sword in the middle of the park. You know, the kind of guy who studies Latin and creeps around in the woods with the sword they bought at the mall. You remember the kid with anger issues from school? I'm gonna line this thing with gargoyles for the sacrifices. What's your name again? Dan's a <laughs> The guy who used to go alone in the woods and smash sticks against trees? Yeah, well he grew up, started worshipping the gods of metal, and now he's come to whoop your ass. The great sword basically tries to do everything better than the long sword. When you compare the two, the long sword cuts down naked and light armor with ease, while the great sword does more damage against heavy armor. But its stabs are where the great sword really shines. If there's one thing that separates barbarian brainlets from the real great sword gods, it's the use of stabs. Can't get me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Having a big fuck all sword in your hand leads a lot of people to think that you won't stab at them. But the great sword does enough stab damage to contend with the stock. Ah, I tried to sneak through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Out of my way, son. Door stuck. Door stuck. Please. I beg you. We're dead. One of my favorite things to do is to just jump stab my opponents in the face. I have the high ground! A lot of people just don't see it coming. You underestimate my power! <laughs> oh, or they misjudge the length of the stab. In the beginning, when God was creating all the weapons of Mordow, he looked at them all and blessed some with an alt load. Some became throwable, others flipped upside down, some got longer. But some weapons were shunned by his holiness. 
and he passed them over, leaving them barren. Good idea, O oh Lord. Of course it's a good idea. But for the great sword, he bestowed upon it a half-sword mode. A blessing, a blessing from the Lord. God be praised. The swing does less damage and is the same speed. At least the stab does a smidge more damage and it's a little faster than normal. Since the great sword is just a big fuck all sword, you're bound to kill just about any teammate who happens to get too close to the target you're attacking. But if you're a real gentleman, you could apologize for being such a huge fucking dickbag. Oh. I fucking killed our teammate. Feels so bad. Welcome to the League of Dreams. The Executioner's Sword. It's kind of like the Great Sword, only cranked up to 11. This got to 11. This sword is the result of somebody going to Michael Thulu and asking him to make them a weapon, but when he asked for a reference, they just sent him a picture of a fence post. It's powerful and heavy, but the Executioner's Sword is also slow and takes a while to wind up a swing. That leaves them open for attacks from lighter weapons. You can't forget to mention the fact that the end of their sword is blunted like a butter knife, so its stab doesn't do much damage either. Executioner sword mains are the Tony Perkis of Mordow. Do it to it, Lars! The really annoying ones will insist that the Executioner sword is the best weapon in the game, while only taking fights from naked peasants. It takes a special kind of person to main the Executioner sword. You have to be more bloodthirsty than a Chaos Berserker. Blood! 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 Blood for the Blood God! The kind of guy who goes around town and kicks puppies. Or runs in to slay the bard in the middle of his concert. Just a bunch of easy kills. Well, till everybody turns on him and stabs him to death. You have to admit, it's a dick move. Excuse me one second. <sighs> How you doing, little Tony? Bad? Why do you feel bad? Because everyone keeps making fun of me for bringing a giant butter knife to war. It's not your fault. I know it's not my fault, but whose fault is it? It's not my fault. It's their fault. That's right, it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. You have failed and you will pay. If a few players swarm the Executioner main, they can usually take them out. But one-on-one, -on -one, you should try to close the distance and dispatch them quickly. Get over here! Just be careful, you never know what can happen when one of those brainlets starts tossing around a giant guillotine. Most of the time, the only Executioners you need to watch out for are the naked variety. The guy who knows how to cheese the animations. To wheel around like a Beyblade and slice right through your neck. The Executioner Sword is kinda like the War Axe. Cutting through weak opponents makes every kill feel like a glory kill. It just makes you want to go into a bloodthirsty rampage. I just want to rip and tear through everything. <laughs> Stop! You already made this joke with the War Axe! But the glowy sword from Doom Eternal looks just like the Executioner's sword. Just move on! Talk about something else! Like what? Like the alt mode! Actually, there is no alt mode. Oh! The Executioner's sword is pretty much just the War Axe for swords. 
They'll cut right through you to get to their target. And secret power, bloodthirsty, yada yada yada. When it comes to the Executioner Sword, you mostly just have to look out for your legs and protect your neck. Okay, that should do it for these giant swords. Was there anything I missed? Leave it down below in the comments. While you're there, let me know what sword you want to see covered next. We've still got the Bastard, the Messer, the Zweihander, and the Training Sword. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day! Later! <laughs>